a daily setup getting stale. The standard format of what I did yesterday, what we do today, and impediments is holding the team back. You don't know what to do. Well, there is a technique they can use. Now, this technique is called walking the board or walking the wall. Now, this is something that, as its name implies, you know, either you have it on the wall or you probably need a board. So we're going to use some tools to help visualize what this looks like. So what is walking the board? So walking the board is basically where you have your stories and this works for scrum teams or common teams. So it, it could be your work items and you know, in this, I'm going to talk about scrum teams. So you have stories that you want to make sure that, you know, you pay attention to. So number one, the requirements is to have a board. Now it could be any, you know, a simple physical board. It could be a trailer board. It could be on the wall, on the whiteboard somewhere. So what you need is to make sure that you have a, a wall or a board. So what we're going to do is that we are going to move these things around and I'm going to try and say, let's create a really simple wall, a really simple board here. And let's just make it as in, um, so really simple here. And this is my backlog. Let me get better at writing my backlog. This is in progress. This may be your testing uh, or, you know, ready for, for, P, for a prod owner, for example, you know, all testing states that you, you may have, that some teams do have. And, and then let's talk about done. So now we have our board set up. So we're going to use some stickies here to help us do that. And let's say, assuming that we're going to start the sprint with one, two, and three. Let's just use three for right now. And I'm going to denote that as you know, story A, story B, and story C. So normally, how this works is that at the beginning of the spring, as teams or as team members started to work on a specific story, say, you know, story A, they will move this to in progress. Okay, so that's I'm assuming that that our developer is E. E works on story A, and story B is worked on by. Let's use D. Okay, so we have. Team member E working on story A, team member D working on story B. What happens is that during stand-up, walking the board means that we're going to look at the column on the far right, which is done. The goal is to see how we can get our stories from backlog to in progress to ready for PO or testing and then to done. So there are multiple pooling that needs to happen. Okay? So what we want to do is that well. Imagine this, during a stand-up, what you would do is you look at the stories, anything in done, nothing, anything in this column, nothing, and anything in, in, in progress column, and you say, well, yes. So the first thing we, we look on is that whoever works on story A will talk about story A. So basically, what have we done with story A in order to move it to the next column? Okay, so Everybody talks about it and yay, we got A and it is now ready for our problem to be look at and it's in, in, that, in, in that state. So the next one that we talk about this story, story B, and that moves and do that. So what happens the next day is that now you talk about story A and it is done. We'll put E on the side because he's got nothing to work on anymore. We'll put him on the side here. So story A is done, right? The next thing we're going to talk about story B. What can we need to get it done? Since there is nothing else for E to do, E can now pick up story C to move it to in progress and work on that. So the idea here is to concentrate on the stories from the right, you know, right being which is done. And how do we get stories from the left to the right? So there is a progression of, we want to see things moving this way. 
Now in this format, in this strategy, then during stand-up, you are focused on the stories. So who moves these stickers? It can be anybody. So what I found is that usually during stand-up, if you use a physical board, in this instance, the developers will tend to move the stickies during stand-up. And that's okay, because guess what? You can then celebrate success. You can celebrate the fact that we move these stories from one state to the next. And that is important. And that celebration itself, you know, believe it or not, tends to motivate developers to, do, to get things to the next level. Uh, and also that because we're focusing on the stories, we can focus on everybody on well, what can we do to move story B, for example, from here to here. So it's very focus oriented. It makes the conversation goes really fast. Uh, one of the drawbacks of this is that you might not have, you know, for example, you may have A and E working on the same story. Well, we're gonna talk about this story, okay? So A and E may talk about the same thing. Sometimes E is talking and A is, hey, you know, adding some stuff to it, and that's okay. Now, what's apparent also is that maybe you don't have a story. Maybe this use this team member app doesn't work on anything at all, and you will find out really quickly well, who's working on what. Are they working on specific stories or not? So this technique, to me, is more helpful and more valuable, more effective compared to what I did yesterday, what I'm going to do today, and any impediments. This helps team members focus on these two weeks sprints on getting stories moving to done. If you don't have a physical board, what can you use? Trailer board, a trailer has it. Uh, if you, you know, don't have any software to, to help you track these things, then you know, what about real-time board? You can use it for distributed teams. I know for sure that TFS has it as well, have a specific board you can use. Uh, CA, Agile, you know, CA Agile Central also has specific board that you can use. Jira, of course, has it too. So you can use any of those uh, software for distributed teams, but my recommendation is that if you do have a team that are co-located, I would suggest you try and do it in physical. Have two, physical as in, you know, somewhere we can all see, we can all move things around during stand-up, makes a lot of conversation easier. And then also, you know, have a system record as well. So, this technique is awesome. I highly recommend it for anybody that is looking to improve their daily setup. Try that out. Let me know what you think. Bye.